Everybody has dreams, goals, and aspirations. With them, Columbus discovered America. Madame Curie discovered radium. Galileo, he did stuff. <laughs> and I could have been one of those dreamers. Oh, no, wait, I couldn't. I was raised by the dream stomper. Dad, teacher said we could be anything we wanted to be. She wasn't talking to you, son. <laughs> now, go in the backyard and practice digging some holes. At one point, my dream was that Dad would let me have a dream. <laughs> I wanted to build the hella bitchinest, mega coolinest, super flowinest hot rods on the planet. I was 17. I talked like that. <laughs> this is the best thing that we have ever done. And you pulled it off, Titus. Without college. <laughs> <laughs> and we pulled it off. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> no, uh, if there wasn't a big hot rod here, I'd be very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> ever do something better than you thought you could? Tops chop perfectly. It can get no tougher or sexier. It's brilliant, perfect, timeless. And no one's ever gonna build it like I did. And I got everything in it, piece of my soul. Now I'm gonna trade it for money. <laughs> Who knows how to dream, huh? <laughs> now we get the big stinky check. <laughs> so we can finish it. <laughs> and I'm getting the big stinky bonus. <laughs> What are you gonna do with your bonus? Oh, I'm gonna go surfboard shopping in Australia. <laughs> I got my eye on an IPO from a little internet company whose prospects look quite tasty. Tasty? Oh no, I've said too much already. <laughs> I'm gonna take every bit of that money, I'm gonna put it... I'm gonna use it to fix the hot rod. <laughs> Nothing's broken. Please, please, please. Nothing's broken. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tommy, Tommy. Chill. Sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me nothing's broken because I asked you to tell me nothing is broken? Or are you telling me nothing is broken because nothing is broken? Nothing's broken. Oh, great. I need some coffee. Who wants cappuccino? Uh, promise me you'll stop when the left side of your face goes numb. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's all right. It's perfect! You're right, it's perfect. No one could build a more perfect car. I'm a genius. My little genius. I also brought muffins, guys. Brain food. And cappuccino. Who wants a cappuccino? Hey. <laughs> when we get paid for the car, we can get a cappuccino machine. Oh, and you can have an aneurysm. <laughs> hey, you know what else we can do? We get a car shop. We have a cappuccino machine. Car shop, cappuccino machine. <laughs> car box. <laughs> That's it, you're cut off. I'm proud of all of you. Team Titus has built their first magazine cover car. <laughs> what? Why are we laughing? Because we've been here for two days and we're to that place beyond tired where everything's funny? <laughs> <laughs> muffin. I'm going home and going to bed. No, 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 no. I'm going to finish my muffin, then I'm going to get a couple hours of sleep, and then at 9 o'clock, I'm going to show the client the car and get our money. Woo -hoo! It's 8.45. Woo -hoo. <laughs> oh, damn it. I have to call my boss. Woo <laughs> hey, Doug. Hey. So is this it? Uh, yeah, Doug, this one's yours. You know the difference between a plain old geek and an internet geek? 
$400 million. I'm still a geek. I love it. Good. Write that big stinky check. <laughs> pick the paint. Pick the upholstery. Pick, pick, pick. I've been up 36 hours. <laughs> Guys, I will handle this. Doug. Big stinky check, please. <laughs> right. Ooh! I just had a thought. Now, I'm thinking outside the box here, but you know what would make this car really cool? <laughs> no, tell me, what would make this car really cool? <laughs> okay, okay, follow me here. My uncle used to race these cars, those uh, funny, dirty little cars that go sideways. Big wheels. <laughs> sprint car, sprint car, sprint car. Yes, sprint cars. I love the way you guys talk. They have that, uh, that thing on the roof. Chimney? <laughs> wing, 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 wing. Yeah, those are cool. And expensive. Cool and expensive. Yeah, I want that. Uh, the check is getting stinky. <laughs> Wait. You want a wing on the roof of a 32 Ford coupe. Ooh. <laughs> he wants a wing on the roof of a 32 Ford coupe. Ooh. <laughs> the bad thing about saying your dream out loud is that somebody will hear it and try to adjust it to fit their dream. And your dream doesn't fit. You walk around with your dream riding up on you. <laughs> You Johnny. Ha-ha. <laughs> Dad, uh, now I have a hot rod business. Check it out. Now you're paying rent. Check it out. <laughs> Doug, can you give me a minute? Yeah, no problem. OK, you guys really want to do this? I I've already bought this ticket to Australia in my mind. Hello? Yeah, hello. No. Yeah. No. Right away. Not ever. OK, I totally agree. <laughs> Good. OK. OK. Hold on. So you'll put the wing on. Great. Just tell me the new total and uh, I'll cover it. Great work so far. Bye. Hello. Hello. What the, what the hell are you talking? Hey, uh, <laughs> that guy's insane. I know. We can charge him whatever we want. No. No, 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 Titus is right. We're not going to rip the guy off. Oh, we're not ripping anybody off. We're not charging him anything. We're not doing it. But you just said you would. No, I didn't. You said no. He said okay. You said good. He said okay. You said okay. He said bye. I think we're doing it. Uh, no, we're not doing it. Titus, we need the money. Hey, you know what? It's not about money. It's about that thing where the thing where money's not important. Communism. <laughs> Poverty. Hold on. Integrity. Thank you, honey. And whatever you're talking about, I agree with Tommy. We need the money. I first learned about integrity from my father. He never, ever missed one alimony payment to any of his five wives. You bastard! Oh, don't move. You're safe here. You cheated and lied to me! I cheated. I didn't lie. If I lied to you, you'd never know I cheated. Don't question my integrity. You're right, Christopher. This is about integrity. Thank you, baby. The integrity of keeping your business and unscrewing your friends. Oh, so thank you, baby. Doesn't really apply here, does it? For two years, I have been working a job I hate to be late for. <laughs> See you soon. What about my dream? I thought I was your dream. I've got you. I want my MBA. Christopher, you're not being fair. You keep changing the rules, and I'm never going to get back to school. But you're so smart already. <laughs> Honey, please don't make me stay at a job I hate because you're not willing to put antlers on a roof. It's a wing. I don't care if it's a beak. Just do it. <laughs> no. Goodbye, Australia. OK, fine, fine. Do what you want to do. You're going to do that anyway. I have to go back to my hateful job. But you, you stay here and wallow in your integrity and all the goodwill you're creating with all your friends. I'm going to take my muffin. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Muffins. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> 
wow. You must feel really bad. I mean, the, the tightest high-performance dream ride, that's, that's over. I mean, you know, your dream, just all this dashed into bits. I mean, look at you. You're just friendless. You're loveless. We're not doing it. Oh, come on, it's just a wing. Everything here sucks. <laughs> Tony, you have to trust me here. I have never screwed you over. <laughs> As an adult. <laughs> Dave and I tried a lot of dangerous stuff when we were kids. And Tommy was always right there with us. Trying it first. It looks too far. Come on, Tommy, the penguin does it all the time. <laughs> My turn. Dave, we should climb down. I still limp when it rains. You know, there are like 200 bones in your body you didn't break. How come you never talk about those? All right, but I'll talk about this. I'm your partner, so I have a say in this too. And I say... We're doing it? The wings on the roof. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Who's on the phone? <laughs> Tommy got me to leave a dead-end job and help me fulfill a lifelong dream. He saved my soul. So, I didn't save my own soul eventually. <laughs> I found it! The future home of Titus High Performance. Wow, Tommy, it's great. If we all got our coveralls on and knocked out our front <coughs> teeth, we could live here. It has a toilet. And... In a skylight. <laughs> and the concierge. <laughs> Tommy, you're wasting my time. Christopher. It sucks. You're right. You're right. You should just stay working at the dealership. Bitch about it to me constantly. While you continue to grow that malignant tumor you started the day you took the job. How long have you been saving that? <laughs> this, this is our future. That's one we don't have to kill. <laughs> you know, I'm the boss, and I don't want to pull rank here, but what does the back of that say? It says Titus High Performance. Okay. Are you Titus? Are you performance? Are you high? <laughs> Are you stubborn? Are you arrogant? Are you being a skosh overbearing? <laughs> I'm committed. I'm doing the right thing. I'm integritous. <laughs> Integritous? It's a word. <laughs> I'm Integritous. It's my gladiator name. <laughs> Titus, what are you doing? I, I'm being Integritous. It's, it's when you don't do something because you believe it's not the right thing to not do. And if you have it in you, then other people will follow you and not do it with you. So then when everyone gets together and they don't do the wrong thing together because it's wrong, that's how things get done right. No, I mean, what are you doing under the car? I'm taking it apart. Why? Because in pieces, it's harmless. But, uh, but together, like the internet geek wants it, it's pure evil. Don't worry. I'm okay. <laughs> Didn't hurt. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, I'm okay. I'm just stuck under it. Uh, get the jack. Get the jack. Uh, okay. Oh, he's stuck under the car. No, don't, 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 don't touch the jack. If you move the jack and the car falls, the only thing it's supporting is my rib cage. No, no, he no, said don't touch the jack. What did you do? Uh, I broke the jack. Oh. <laughs> Titus, what are we gonna do? Um. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Okay. Uh, can you um, feel this? Um. Ow! <laughs> His spine's still intact. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, here's the, uh, okay, okay I'm, I'm gonna grease him up, and we're gonna slide him out. No, no, before you try to squirt me out, why don't you try to find somebody with a jack? Dad's got a jack, yeah. No, yeah. no, don't call Dad, don't call Dad, don't call Dad! My father was never one to teach me. He was one to stand back and let the scars of learning happen. See that? 
That's where I learned never tighten the fan belt with the engine running. <laughs> this bald patch, it means don't connect the black wire to the red wire. Did you block the wheels? Dad, I'm 17, I know how to jack up a car. <laughs> <laughs> What have we learned? Cars are heavy. Er. <laughs> Cars still heavy, boy? Could we stop the mocking and humiliation till I get out from under the car? No. You know, I can't get the right expression. Will uh, somebody please pee on him? They unzip and die. Mr. Titus, I think we should let him out. What, nobody's gonna pee on him or shave his head? Damn, I miss the 50s. <laughs> Come on, help me with the jack. Coming. how many more roofs are you gonna jump off before you realize he is not always right? Dad, stop. What? St look, he is trapped under the car. How many chances like this are you gonna get? At best, one thing like this comes up every 13 years. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable peeing on him. I'm not family. <laughs> no, 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 no. While he's under the car, you put the wing on the top. No, he, he doesn't want us to, but, but we could. Could we? No, we couldn't. Sure you could. Hey, hey, hey! Hey. All right, you guys are not gonna do this. I am the boss here. You are the helpers. You are the elves. Elves? I am not an elf. Red hair, freckle face, pointy chin, some curly shoes, you are an elf. <laughs> I'm not an elf. Yes, you are elf. Shut up. 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 Elf. Now, Dave, we, we could do this, but he'll be really mad. He's already mad. That's true, he's already mad. I'm really mad. He's really mad. Now, how many times can he kill you, huh? That, that's true again. Uh, Dave? I'm not an elf. Elf! 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 elf. An elf wouldn't have the guts to put a wing on a car. <laughs> but a gladiator would. <laughs> Every time a car falls on me, something bad happens. <laughs> well, that looks hideous. It sucks. Looks like crap. Good job, boy. <laughs> One day I'll lose weight and slide out. <laughs> oh, my God. I am so proud of you. You made the car really, really ugly just for me. You're welcome. <laughs> Honey, I'm stuck under the car. I'm trapped. Trapped? Yeah, you guys are so busted. Hey, I kept these two from peeing on him. Get out of there! Out of there right now! Honey, are you all right? Well, I got a slight tickle in my throat and a car on me! <laughs> we had no idea about the tickle. Look, we, we were just about to let him out, and then the jack broke. Then we had to call Mr. Titus, and he wanted to come over here and shave his head, and we said, no, no, no. And then he came over here, and look, oh, look, see, he's out. Oh, God. <laughs> Blame him if he killed you. Are you gonna kill me? No. Are you gonna fire me? No. Are you gonna beat me senseless? No. Can we go surfing? <laughs> Why, sure. And Dave, thanks for not peeing on me. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> and Tommy, thanks for peeing on my dream. See, that's the problem, Titus. It's my dream, too, but you don't want to recognize that. Oh, this is your dream? To build a hot rod with a tanning bed on the roof? <laughs> no, it's to run a successful business, to give the customers what they want, but you won't even let me do that. You won't let us do collision work. We can't do insurance work. We, we can't, can't sell out. We're not selling out. We're not selling anything. Oh, good one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You guys are right. We should do collision work. <laughs> oh, no, hey, 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 what are you doing? Oh, well, we're done. We don't need those. Christopher! Honey, we're the collision guys now, you know? <laughs> wait, wait, let me practice, let me practice, let me practice. Uh, Ma'am, your car looks just like new, Mrs. Johnson. Oh, and hey, I saved you $30 by using aftermarket parts and lots of Bondo. Oh, now I'm gonna be Tommy. Okay, uh, I'm the great Bondini, the Bondo magician. <laughs> Tommy, what are they gonna say about you in 50 years? Huh? That you helped build the baddest cars on the road? Or 
Tommy Shafter. Damn, that guy could pound out a dent. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Mrs. Johnson is here. <laughs> Hell yes. Hey, Doug. Dude, he's on the phone. It looks great. Thanks. Shh. He's probably making some big internet deal. I'm gonna have to write you guys a hell of a check. See? Dave, he's talking to us. Oh, on the phone? No, here in the room. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I love it. You guys should hire me as a consultant. Hell yes. <laughs> you like that? Hell yeah. I mean, the only downside is that your name is going on something that was my idea, but... Bundini? No, it's not. What? It's hideous. No car comes out of Titus High Performance with a tanning bed on the roof. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's an embarrassment. Well, that's one opinion. What's your opinion? <laughs> Titus, what are they going to say about you in 50 years? <laughs> he owned a plane. <laughs> Everyone has dreams, goals, and aspirations. Thanks to Columbus's discovery, millions of Native Americans died of smallpox. Madame Curie died of radium poisoning. Galileo died of... stuff. <laughs> What's your dream worth? It's <laughs> a lot of zeros. <laughs> I'll get back to you. I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. No, I'm the funny one. I'm the funny one. Okay, fine.